Hi, I'm Soaring Moose, and this is the first video of my YouTube channel. It's also the first video of my first series, which is going to be a Hypixel Skyblock Let's Play, where I will create a new profile and walk through, and it will be part guide where I'll be part walking through everything that guide and what I think that you should do when you start a new profile, and it will also be part just playing the game. But without further ado, let's get right in. Okay, so we're just gonna go to profile management and we're gonna delete this profile. Delete, okay. No, not that. Okay, and then we're gonna go back, empty profile slot, classic profile, create new profile. Wait for it to load. Here we are. So we're in the new profile, and the first thing that you need to do is trap is chop this tree. But I figured that um, I would talk about um, what I plan for my YouTube channel. So as you can see, uh, there's going to be high pixel skyblock, but um, uh, excuse me, there's also I'm planning on doing some Sky Wars and Bed Wars commentary videos. And just going over some of my thoughts on things. Um, but they're most, this is mostly all going to be Hypixel related. I don't have any ideas for anything that's not Hypixel related. And I plan to uh, upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And there might be more uploads one week, and the next week there might be one less upload or something. But I will mostly be sk sticking to the schedule of Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. But um, back to Skyblock. So we have Jerry here, we can talk to him. He's kind of useless. And our cobble minion here, he's going to generate resources for us even when we're offline. So he is very good and helpful. But, so here's the hub. This is where you're going to be spending a lot of your time, especially in the early game. I'm going to go get a private hub so that I'm a little bit less laggy while I'm recording. So as you can see in the bottom right, my FPS is not the best. Okay, so we just discovered the auction house, which is basically where you can sell and buy items that you don't want to grind for yourself. And then over here is the bazaar, where you can more sell and buy materials. So those are very, very useful, and Ironman players don't have them, so normal players are lucky ones. There's one more spot that I'm going to go for, to for now, and it's the bank. So we can talk to the banker here, and we can just store coins. Um, but we don't have any coins yet, so we're going to have to wait on the uh, storing part of it. But the first thing that you need to do, or that I like to do, is to go around and talk to all of these videos. Videos. Villagers. So, um... I'm going to go around and do that, and I'm going to cut the video, and I will see ya. So, we're not going to talk to the carpenter just yet, and um, starting out for new players, this there's an event going on, the um, techno event, and you can buy these shiny orbs, which um, is very um, useful. These shiny orbs can make you a ton of money in the early game, and you are pro and you are literally guaranteed to make profit from the shiny orbs. So we're gonna sell this wood, get a few coins, then we're gonna come over here and talk to the blacksmith, and he says that he'll reforge one of your items for coins. But since he's feeling generous today, he will do it for ten coal. So, I'm going to mine that coal, and 
I'll be back in a Okay, and we are back. So, um, as you probably remember, I said 10 coal. So you might be wondering why I got 54. Well, you will see in just a minute. No! I did not mean to buy the end sword. I wanted to buy the undead sword. Luckily, we managed to get enough coins by selling the extra cobblestone. So basically, you can come over here and talk to the blacksmith, and you can get a reforge on your items. Okay, I have ten coal. Okay, so he's gonna let me reforge. I'm, I'm gonna, I want to reforge my undead sword. I'm just gonna hit reforge item. Okay, so I got the gentle reforge. It's a gentle undead sword. As you can see, it adds three strength and eight bonus speed, but I don't want that. But there's a little trick that I know, and if this is a bug, admin, please, I'm sorry, I thought that this was an intended feature. But if you can just reforge it again for the price of 10 coal, but if you close this menu, it'll cost coins, which we don't want. So I'm going to reforge this and see what we get. Okay, and that's all, and we got the epic reforge, which, I mean, it's not bad. But I was hoping for the sharp reforge. But we can make do with it. So we're going to head over here to the coal, uh, sorry, the gold mine next. And here is where we will hit mining five so we can travel to the deep caverns and finally start fighting some mobs. So first I'm just going to talk to the iron forger. Forger so that their shops are unlocked. Let me in. Okay. So, and then there's another blacksmith here, but we don't need to talk to him since we already got our reforge. And then here is Rusty. He's one of my favorite people. He adds telekinesis to your tools, which is basically. So, when I go over here and I mine this, the items drop down, right? But if I put telekinesis on it, The items go straight into my inventory. So, and then we can go over here and talk to Lazy Miner. And he says that he left his good pickaxe, and we're supposed to go find it. So, if we come over this way, and then head down here, uh, this way, uh, we're going to go find his pickaxe, will be, which will be very useful in the gold mine. Not that useful when, once we get to the deep caverns and the better ores. But at this point, in the deep caverns, it will be useful. So, here's the pickaxe. And then we can go back up and re and put telekinesis on it. But, um, as you can see, I got a new objective, Reach Mining 5. So, basically with that, uh, we have to reach the skill level Mining 5. We are already Mining 3, so we don't have that much farther to go. But as you can see, it's about... 700 skill XP, which, eh, it's kind of hard, but, um, ooh, we're not going to have enough money to put telekinesis on this just yet, I don't believe, don't sell it, yeah, we need 100 coins to put telekinesis on it, and we're just short of that, so, I'm going to mine some cobblestone, and then I'm going to put telekinesis on it, and then I'm going to hit mining 2, mining level 5. And we're so close. We're not going to get that one, we're just going to go over here. And mining level 5. So right there, access to the deep cavern. So, we're going to go back up here, right up this way, and we're going to uh, sell some items. So, we're not going to sell most of our items, and you will see why at the end of the video, but I'm just going to say right now that we need them to craft some items. I'm just going to put them up here in my inventory. And here we go. And we're not going to need this pickaxe much longer, but yeah. Just going to do slash hub. Huh? 
and here we go. So, um, what we need to do is deposit our coins in the bank because for an experienced player, 500 coins seems like nothing. But for somebody at our level, it is quite a lot. So, but first, I bought this diamond helmet with the growth enchantment because I had the money and it is a little, you know, it's a little bit of armor which we will need quite greatly. So, we have 127 coins. Two seven. I think I need to go back to preschool. Uh, we have 197 coins, and we're going to head over here to the deep caverns. So, I will see you guys in Okay, so here we are at the entrance to the deep cavern. Well, let's go. The reason that we put our coins away is because you lose half your coins when you die. And we don't want to lose our coins, because we are actually going to to be dying here quite often at this stage because well some of the mod mobs are pretty hard so talk lift operator and he says that once you've explored the area he can give you us a safe ride there but I know a little trick that you can explore most of the areas if not all of them in like super fast so let's just come down here you just jump lapis cord pigmentson sign hill diamond reserve and obsidian sanctuary so we've just unlocked every single zone so that is very good and we didn't lose a single coin because we didn't have any on us but we would have lost half of our coins if we had died if we had them on so here we are this is where you're going to want to go first the uh lapis quarry and man, we're already doing 139 damage on a crit. So that is really, really good. But it does need to go up because these guys have 200. So some of the things that you can do to increase your damage is obviously enchantments. Another thing is arm reforges on swords and armor. And getting your combat level up and getting your foraging level up okay so uh i'm gonna grind lapis zombies for a while and try and get a couple of lapis armor pieces and some coins and instead of keeping the lapis armor pieces i'm actually going to sell them because they sell for a pretty penny okay so here we are back on our island and there's one thing that we're going to want to do here and that is make some minions and pretty much we're just going to buy some resources for the minions um just a second okay we're gonna buy the resources to make the minions and yeah so first we're gonna go over here Talk to the lumber merchant, talk to the adventurer, go back to lumber merchant, and buy five wood. So, we're going to turn this into oak planks, and craft three pickaxes, wooden. Take these, okay, so we have three pickaxes, and now we're going to make the minions. So, we actually don't have enough to make the minions, so we're going to need to buy the rest of the resources. So, we can co come over here, talk to the mine merchant, and we're, we need a little bit more coal. So, let's see. so, this is the perfect amount, and if we just put a pickaxe in like this, and then we spread these around... And then, yep, spread them around till you get 10 all around. And then that will give us a tier 1 coal minion. Coal minions go up to tier 12, but you have to buy the 12. But, so, here we go. We have our coal minion 1. 
So coal minion tier one. And now we need an iron minion. So let's hope that this is enough. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're just going to do the same thing here. A pickaxe. And then 10 on each side. One, two, and then here. And yep. So here is our tier 1 iron minion, and we're going to sell the rest of the iron. Ooh, we have to buy a lot of gold. So if we buy a stack, buy one. Oh, we don't have enough. Ooh, it does not look like we're going to have enough money to buy a gold minion. But maybe we will. So we're going to go back to our island and place down the two minions that we got. We're also going to dig this guy up so that our island looks a little bit more aesthetic. And then you're going to count one, two, three. One, two, three. Up. And then place down whichever one. Dig it up. And you just want air around. You're going to count one, two, three. And then one over. And then up. Yep. Okay. And then this guy's gonna start generating coal. And then one, two, three. So it'll be right here. And that. Alright, so here we go. We have our three minions. They're going to start generating, well, or they're going to start generating resources while we're offline. And it appears like we've messed up with the minions. So, I think it's like this, actually. Yeah. Alright, so, I made a mistake there. It's been a long time since I've placed down minions. But it is actually... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or six, I think. But that is because I forgot that both of them generate resources, so it's actually six. One, three, there's no. Place down the iron minion. Dig it up. And here we go. And the reason that we saved our cobblestone is so that we could upgrade. So that we could upgrade our cobblestone mint. I, I, I don't even. So that we can upgrade our cobblestone minion. So that he generates more resources and has a bigger storage. But it's not ready to be upgraded yet. So, we can just help this guy out by placing this down. And I think that's going to be it for this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And today was really, really, we made a ton of progress. We got down three minions. We got one diamond helmet with growth on it, but we can't use growth yet. And we have five coins in our bank. So... I'm going to grind some lapis zombies off camera, try and get a full set of lapis, and yeah, adios.